Hey guys, almost everyone knows that there will be four new iPhone models launching this year and leaks about these variants are coming in full force. Now recently, we received some new display leaks which are really detailed in terms of information about the display panels of all four iPhone variants. Now if you missed, in my previous video, I discussed about the display panels of the Pro variants of iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So if you are interested in those, link is in the description, just below that like button. In today's video, we'll be taking a close look at the display panels of the base iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Max as I had promised in our previous video. So guys, I'm Raj and now let's get in. This leak confirms that all four Apple's new iPhone 12 model will incorporate OLED displays. A new post from Display Supply Chain Consultants or DSCC provides us with even more detailed information about each model from both a display technology and pricing perspective. So talking about the iPhone 12, it's the smallest iPhone of the bunch. It will feature a tiny 5.4 inch OLED display. DSCC suggests it will be a Samsung made display panel but tipster John Prosser believes the supply will actually be PoE. Now that's a little concerning as Samsung manufactures some of the best display panels out there. So it would be great if iPhone 12 has a Samsung panel. But Apple's choice of going with BOE made display panels makes sense when we consider the pricing of iPhone 12. The starting price of iPhone 12 will be around $649. Talking about the resolution, it will have 2340 by 1080p resolution with a 475 ppr pixel density. However, Apple tends to offer the same pixel density on all models, so a slightly lower resolution that enables 458 ppi is to be expected instead. So if you prefer a smaller form factor, iPhone 12 would be a great option to look forward to. Now let's move to the iPhone 12 Max. Replacing the iPhone 11 will be iPhone 12 Max that reportedly features a 6.1 inch OLED display. This display will be supplied from both BOE and LG display. Just like the iPhone 12 Pro, the iPhone 12 Max will feature an add-on touch circuitry layer rather than y octa -Tech. It will have a 2532x1170p resolution and 458ppi pixel density, which is perhaps the most important change. To better differentiate the standard iPhone 12 series from the Pro models, Apple is planning a series of downgrades. More specifically, these displays won't be granted access to the XDR branding and as such won't support 10-bit color depth or 120Hz ProMotion tech. Although a lot of people don't know, Apple has often been trolled for the low 1792x828p resolution and 326ppi pixel density offered on the iPhone 11 and iPhone XR. But with the switch to OLED however, that thing seems to be finally ending. So that was all about the display panels on the iPhone 12 lineup. As I've already mentioned, display specs of the pro models of iPhone 12 lineup are discussed in a separate video which is linked below the like button in the description box. These specs are not official yet, so take them with a pinch of salt. Guys, I cover all the iPhone 12 related stuff plus all the Apple related news daily on this channel and I really don't want you to miss any of it. So just press that subscribe button and also click the bell icon cause that's important. With that we're at the end of this video. So guys if you found this video helpful then like the video. If you didn't like it you know what to do. If you have any questions regarding this topic then feel free to ask them in the comment section. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Raj and I will see you guys in my next video.